a pleasant day or amazing grade 12 learners. I'm Mrs. Rosemary A. Bautista from Alinta National High School, your Valenzuela FB live streaming teacher for this week. How have you been? I hope that you are all fine and feeling wonderful. Let us all discover a new learning experience in the contemporary Philippine arts from the region. Join me in venturing to another piece of lifelong learning. We are now in week 3 and we will journey on a new topic which is about the major periods of the contemporary art forms. Are you ready? If so, hit the heart button. Before we start our lesson, I'd like to remind you of the following. First, prepare your module and pen. Second, observe courtesy and respect all throughout the streaming. Use the chat box in answering questions. And third, type at the comment section your name, school, and section for your attendance. Our most essential learning competency for today is research on various contemporary art forms. And for today's learning objectives, number one, trace the major periods of the evolution of various contemporary art forms. Second, distinguish traditional, modern, and contemporary styles from different eras. And lastly, is to value the importance of contemporary Philippine arts from the region. In our previous topic, we discussed the various art forms in the Philippines. There are seven major contemporary art forms. These are visual arts, architecture, dance, theater, music, film, and literature. I can feel very well that you are all excited to learn today's lesson. But before we start, let's try this simple guessing game. What you will do is simply identify the posted pictures of the art form and write your answer in the comment box. You will be given 5 seconds to type your answer. Let me see if you are ready by hitting the wow reaction. Picture number one. Guess the picture and type your answer. Your timer starts now. If your answer is pottery, very good, you are correct. The Philippine pottery tradition peaked during the Middle Age from 200 BC to 900 AD. Filipinos at that time explored specialized pottery forms, designs, and techniques. This period is referred to as the Golden Age of Pottery. Picture number two. Guess the picture and type your answer. Your timer starts now. Time's up! Keep the heart emoji if your answer is textile. Indigenous textiles and accessories are extremely varied in the Philippines. The traditions concerning textiles and accessories have centuries of practices honed by different ethnic societies. Picture number three. Guess the picture and type your answer. Your timer starts now. Time's up! Hit the like emoji if your answer is a sculpture. These monumental bronze sculptures are located on the stone wall at the entrance to the famed Rizal Martyrdom Tableau in Rizal Park, Manila, honoring the life of Dr. Jose Rizal, whose execution here fanned the flames of independence and revolution. Picture number four. Guess the picture and type your answer. Your timer starts now. Time's up! Hit the wow emoji if your answer is painting. 
the Escolarium is painting by Filipino painter Juan Luna. Luna, working on canvas, spent eight months completing the painting, which depicts dying gladiators. Based on the game that we just had, these are various art forms that are familiar to us. Let us move forward in unveiling more of these art forms. Join me and let us travel back in time to discover how magnanimous, exquisite, and fabulous the Philippine contemporary arts have been. Arts play a significant role in the abundant cultural identity of the Philippines. It reflects people, history, and traditions of the Philippines as a whole. What is the contemporary art in the Philippines? The art of the Philippines can refer to the visual arts, performing arts, textile art traditions, literature, dance, pottery, and other art forms in the country. Philippines has diverse art forms from different regions. This diverse art form, when integrated, give a clear picture how abundant the culture and tradition the Philippines is. To understand art history and how contemporary art develops, let's learn the important happenings during the rise of contemporary art. Let us scrutinize the timeline of Philippine arts, highlighting the focus of arts of each era. The pre-colonial arts or ethnic arts from 980 to 1521. The art forms are primarily influenced by the geographical location and experiences of the Filipinos. In this time, the purpose of art is integral to life. Art reflected pagan beliefs, practices, and everyday activity such as fishing and farming and a specific decorative art pattern to the community. The Angono petroglyphs is situated in Binangonan, Pisar. It was discovered by national artist Carlos Botong Francisco in 1965. There are 127 human and animal figures engraved on the rock wall and dated back to circa late Neolithic. The Manunggul Jar is found in Manunggul Cave, Libon Point, Palawan in the early 1960s. It is a burial jar that signifies the belief of the early Filipino in life after death. Even before the colonizers came, our ancestors had a very rich and colorful culture. Dance is a celebration of the event. The dance gesture imitates animal movement and tells a story, while songs are characterized based on oral tradition and practically for all occasions. Are you familiar with this dance? Type your response in the comment section. Yes, that's precisely what we call a sinkil. Sinkil takes its name from the bells worn on the ankles of the Muslim princess, perhaps one of the oldest of truly Filipino dances. The sinkil recounts the epic legend of the Darangan, of the Maranao people of Mindanao. Sinkil emerged during the Islamic era in 13 AD. Islam as a religion has long been established since the early 1600s. Along with emergence around the world, it also paved way for the development of its own unique style of art. Islamic art places emphasis on creating an art form that is built on the beauty and respect for the teachings of Islam.
Islamic art is characterized by the signs of flowers, platforms, and geometric designs. Cover a range of artistic fields including architecture, calligraphy, painting, glass, ceramics, and textiles. Islamic art in the Philippines has two artistic styles. One is curved line, wood curving, and metalworking called okir. The history of Philippine Muslims is a part of the backbone of the historical development of the country. Philippine historians like Dr. Renato Constantino asserted that no Philippine history can be complete without a study of Muslim development. Some Muslims believe that only vocal music is permissible or halal and that instruments are forbidden or haram. But other Muslims contend that instruments are lawful. So, would you try to dance the famous singkil? That is absolutely art amazing. Now, let us continue traveling in the era of the conquerors. Do you still remember the greatest contribution of the Spanish colonial regime? Time in your answer. Precisely, the Catholic faith is Spain's most enduring legacy in our country. The Saints Peter and Paul Church in Talashaw, Pangasinan, was built before 1763 in the Baroque style of architecture. It is one of the biggest churches in the province. It is interesting to note that the church is one of the 26 Spanish colonial churches branded as National Cultural Treasure. The Spanish colonial art period started when the Philippines was colonized by Spaniards in 1521. During this era, art forms were primarily influenced by religion and catechism. In this time, Spaniards used arts to propagate the Catholic faith. They introduced formal paintings, sculptures, and architecture, influenced by Byzantine, Gothic, Baroque art styles. The Spanish friars introduced Western paintings to the artisans who learned to copy two-dimensional forms from religious paintings. Religious icons were painting of saints and of the Holy Family, including the Passion of Christ and the portrayal of Purgatory, Heaven, or Hell. The Langit Lupa and Impierno by Joseph Luciano Dance, this wall painting by Joseph Luciano will be found in St. James, the Apostle Church in Paeten, Laguna. This painting was dated 1850 and depicts the heaven, crucifixion of Christ, earth, Adam and Eve, and hell sinners with different transgressions. The existing literature of the Philippine ethnic groups at the time of the conquest and conversion into Christianity was mainly oral, consisting of epics, legends, songs, riddles, and proverbs. The Spanish colonial strategy was to undermine the national tradition by substituting for it the story of the passion of the Christ. Dances such as the Fandango, Lanceros, Regodon, Cariñosa, and Corracha were introduced by the Spaniards. The folk dances of today were adaptations of the old native dances. Indeed, more than three centuries that we were colonized by the Spaniards, our lives had been greatly influenced. 
we are very aware that after the Spanish rule, we are under American occupation. Do you still remember what significant heritage we got from them? Do not hesitate to share your idea in the comment section. Correct! That is another amazing idea. Education has been their vehicle from then that still reflects in today's art and literature. With the arrival of the new colonial power came a shift in art patronage from native illustrados to the Americans. The main theme at this time is secular forms of arts. The new patrons, including the tourists and foreign investors, favored landscapes, still life, and genre themes that show the beauty of the land and its people. In the rice field, women working in a rice field, an oil on canvas painting by Philippine painter Fabian de la Rosa. American lifestyle and pop culture gave rise to music created by Filipinos using Western pop forms, referred to as, as Pinoy pop. It includes a wide range of forms, folk songs, dance tunes, ballads, Broadway-type songs, rap and roll, disco, jazz, and rap. What is your favorite Pinoy pop song? As for me, I truly love the songs of Eraserhead, Gary Valenciano, and Regine Velasquez. Let us continue with our discussion. During the colonization of America, dance has created a great impact on us. American rhythm was frenzied and cheerful. Boogie Woogie, which is a swing dance, and disco dancing was widely known to us. In terms of Philippine literature, during the American rule, it was influenced by two factors. First of which is education and culture. The literary genres that flourished during the American period were poetry, sarsuela, short story, and novel. Short stories in English of early Filipino fictionists are marked with American style. Right after we were free from Americans, the Japanese came and made contributions to the Philippine arts. Maybe you are familiar with manga, haiku, tanaga, and ikebana. Let us dig deeper into the influence of the Japanese. The focus of the art forms during the Japanese era was orientalizing. Visual art at this period, instead of showing American films, became a venue for stage shows, wherein English plays are translated into Tagalog. The Japanese performing arts are distinguished by their blending of music, dance, and drama, rooted in different eras of the past. Paintings are used for propaganda. Leaflets, flyers, and posters graphically designed propaganda slogans that contain imposition of Nihongo. Warding off American influence, the paintings were remarkably known for using fluid and brilliant colors. Arturo Luz and Eduardo Castrillo created large-scale outdoor sculptures, wherein they produced minimalist and geometric sculptures and manifested the absence of peace and presence of chaos as evident in the distorted and emotional figures. Are you familiar with this sculpture? This masterpiece of Castrillo was entitled The Humane Communication. It is now the central art piece 
at the new campus of Pamantasan ng Lusod ng Valenzuela. The Castrillo Monument was commissioned by the Philippine Broadcasting Service in 1975, originally erected in PBS Office, Manila. Transferred in 1982 at PBS Compound, Marulas, Valenzuela and was restored under the leadership of our Honorable City Mayor Rex T. Gachalian. In July 2017, with clearance from PBS, the City Government of Valenzuela transferred the monument from PBS Compound in Marilas to the new PLD campus in Maysan, Valenzuela City. The City Council of Valenzuela passed a resolution declaring the monument as local cultural icon. The highly refined traditional arts of Japan include forms as tea ceremony, calligraphy, and ikebana or flower arrangement, and gardening as well as architecture, painting, and sculpture. My dear art amazing learners, how are you coping so far? Let me see if you are still with me by clicking the heart react. We are almost at the last part of the discussion and I hope that you are not flooded with information overload. Continuing, we also have the modern era. According to Stan Shiva, the history of modern Philippine art is marked by the conflict between rules and views of the academy and the innovative methods of the modernist. Modern art in the Philippines has evolved into a wide variety of expressions and mediums turning the country into a situation of creative upheavals. By the late 19th century, neocolonialism and realism became the norm. A turning point was the emergence of the 13th modernist group, which included artists who had received their education abroad, where they had come in contact with various new and experimental styles. Five representative pieces of the 20th century art of the Philippines, a period of rule and the arrival of the Americans, and on cultural level, witness intense artistic exchanges with the West. Las Damas Romanas was painted by Juan Luna in the style of neoclassicism. The art of Fabian de la Rosa is considered to reflect the transition from Spanish rule to American occupation. Planting Rice by Fernando Amorsolo, the art of the period focused on traditional folk scenes as embodiment of the imagined sense of nationhood. Do you have any clue who introduced modern art to the Philippines? The late Victorio Edades was regarded as the father of modern Philippine painting who played an important role in Philippine art history. He argued that art can be more representation of reality as seen through the mind and emotions of the artist. I believe that most of our virtual learners here can relate so well to Edades art philosophy. Finally, contemporary art is the art of today produced by artists who are living in the 21st century. As such, it reflects the complex issues that shape our diverse, global, and rapidly changing world. Through their work, many contemporary artists explore personal or cultural identity, offer critics of social and institutional structures, or even attempt 
to redefine art itself. A research article entitled A Synthesis, Overview of the Contemporary Art Forms and Performance Practices in the Philippines Analyzed Through Synthesis. The information known as explanatory synthesis through the use of eight criteria in analyzing the review, such as painting and other visual arts, architecture, sculpture, and installation, literature, music, dance, cinema, theater, and performance. According to the study, Philippine traditional art has always been an integral part of daily life, as well as the dominant and alternative art forms. According to Tabuena, the importance of contemporary art endures not only in its aesthetic representation, but also in its functionality. Its significance to the society that credited it. As the dominant, alternative, and private circumstances, it is encountered more closely and possesses many senses concurrently. So there you have it, virtual learners. I hope that you somehow enjoyed traveling back in time and knowing how Philippine arts have been enriched and developed throughout the different eras. The Philippines is a gold mine of art. It allows the Filipino artists to portray the subject and the medium in innovative and skillful ways, reflecting Filipino identity, influenced by almost all spheres of the globe from the pre-Spanish period up to the present. So these are the main points of what we discussed today. The major periods of the evolution of various art forms from traditional, modern, and contemporary styles during pre-Spanish to contemporary era. Ethnic art, integral part. Islamic art, geometric designs. The Spanish era, faith and catechism. American era, secular forms of arts, Japanese era, orientalizing, modern era, national identity, and contemporary era, social realism. At this point, let's check how well you remember the lesson that we discussed. Let us have a fact or bluff game. Write fact. If the statement is correct and block, if the statement is wrong, write your answer on the chat box. Again, you will be given 5 seconds to answer. Let us have number 1. Victor Edades was the first national artist of the country and was named Grand Old Man of the Philippine Art. Time's up. If your answer is fact, you are correct. For number two, dances such as the Pandango, Lanceros, Regodon, Cariñosa, and Coracha were introduced by the Americans. Time's up. If your answer is bluff, you are correct. And for number three, performing arts in the Japanese era includes music, dance, and drama. Time's up. If your answer is fact, you are correct. Well done. Did you also get the correct answers? Hit the like button. If you identified the three answers, Correctly. For questions and points of clarification regarding our topic for today, you can ask your respective 
subject teacher in your follow-up session. It is indeed my pleasure to have you in this virtual engagement. I hope that I was able to shed light on today's topic. This has been your every live streaming teacher, Mrs. Rosemary A. Bautista. Let us not give up on education and cling to DepEd's mission, anuman ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Gladly leaving you with this quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Every artist was once an amateur. Until the next art-amazing class, keep safe and God bless us all.